Slack founder Stuart Butterfield leaving Salesforce on the heels of Brett Taylor leaving. What's going on, Dan? What is going on at Salesforce? You know, just a week ago, I went on CNBC, talk a little bit about that earnings and the big Brett Taylor news, and you go, wow, what an inflection for the company. This is a company in transition. Guess what? Um, I really do have the feeling that what is happening is, uh, you know, with the stock down second most out of any Dell component this year besides Intel, I think Mark Benioff is back. I think he's back. He's showing us space. He's not happy with the product, the innovation, the development. He's basically handed the keys to a few people. He made a $27 billion investment in Slack. And I'm on the record by saying for a long time, I think the Slack Salesforce portfolio has some massive potential. But Pat, do you think its potential has been reached just yet? Oh my gosh, absolutely no. not. No. I mean, no. And I'm going to let you fill in your gaps, but no, right? I mean, it is just not even close. And Microsoft Teams is literally in, in, in Salesforce's cafeteria on the daily having lunch on that potential. Now, what could Slack and Salesforce be together? It could absolutely be the most legitimate competitor in the market to that full suite of productivity, of collaboration, of, of you know automation and platform for low code and no code. And of course, developing, you know, future of work, uh, what Mark Benioff coined as the digital headquarters. Well, it hasn't happened yet. So you have Brett, who's been really focused on the Twitter deal. And, you know, it's hard to be the chairman of the board of a deal that's going on with Elon Musk that's taken up every headline. But unfortunately, when you are the CEO of the world's largest and one of the most exciting SaaS companies on the planet, you've got to do that job before you can be a, a board member. Now, again, I know Mark Mark uh, Benioff went on air. He was very emotional, and I think I think those were real emotions. I think he really did want to see Brett succeed. I think he really wanted to see Keith Block succeed. I think he also really wanted to see Stuart Butterfield with Slack really help bring it forward. But for whatever reason, the parts and pieces that have been put into that organization just have not quite created this this right environment for innovation across all these acquisitions. Now we were critical early on about the inorganic spend. Look, I like inorganic acquisitions and growth. I think inorganic is critical once you hit a certain point in a company, but it doesn't work if you don't integrate these inorganic things in a situation where integration is the whole purpose. This isn't a roll-up. This isn't a house of brands. This is a platform. This is an ecosystem where Salesforce needs all of its tools and technologies to be uni unified. And by the way, not everything in Microsoft works together, but the story does. <laughs> the story right now is very compelling across portfolio. And every day they're building toward that. The story at Salesforce still leaves a lot of, hmm, will Slack and Salesforce and Marketing Cloud and Service Cloud and, and automation and bots and all this stuff ever really truly work together where someone's going to come into work, open up Salesforce, and that's going to be their working ecosystem. And I think that the answer to that is not yet. So um, Stuart's leaving, new CEO in uh, Leon. Um, she seems very compelling. We sat on that call this week. We listened to them speak. It was a very eloquently delivered transition, just like the one with Brett. But don't mistake, there is some uncertainty going on at Salesforce. I think these new leaders, and I think with Mark back, look, Mark will always be the heart of Salesforce. Mark is Larry. You know, Mark is to Salesforce what Larry Ellison is to Oracle. And when things get tough, Mark is going to be the guy that's going to come back probably one or two more times over the next couple of decades. He'll be 115 years old, and he's going to come back to work. And when they need a new innovation, they need a new disruption, Mark will be their path. But uh, not the end of the world. I think they're going to push through this. It is a house of the full stack platform. And there are some companies who've had that full stack for a long time, like Microsoft and Google. And there are companies who are actively building it, like Salesforce, that want to do it, trying to do it between a combination of, of inorganic and organic. And then you have even uh, companies like Zoom trying to do it uh, organically. It, it was going to happen through Five9, uh, but that didn't happen because the Zo sorry, the um, stock cratered, um, and they had to back out. Now they're building everything, and with building stacks you have to like you like you inferred 
you need to show incremental value to your customers that it uh, that it matters. And to do that, there's the technical side. There's the really honing in on the core value proposition of, of what that means. And then it means marketing and then getting your sellers to engage to make that happen. And, and I think, again, I have nobody inside that told me any of this, but What's your natural reaction if you're if you're founder uh, Benioff, right? You're going to raise the heat, uh, and there were some people who could have just said, "Listen, I'm I'm not up for that right now." And I think uh, even separating my intuition uh, and connecting that to uh, Stuart Butterfield and the conversation that you and I both had live uh, with him. I mean, he said. I'm tired. I'm 50. I have a new baby. Listen, I I appreciate the honesty. I get that. Okay. I'm older than Stuart. I, I get what that? it's like. Do you believe that? Pat? I believe that. Okay. And by the way, I think it connects perfectly with your thesis of of turning up the heat. And I gotta tell you though, I appreciate him bearing his soul. Um, with that though. The show must go on, and Lydiana Jones is coming in. I appreciated the kind words. I mean, I'm old enough to cut through the BS of executive happy talk and, and reality, and Lydiana uh, really appreciates Stuart. And I think that's important, right? Because uh, when your executives trust each other or like each other at a, at a certain point, Things are just smoother uh, in how in how uh, they act. I, based on what they said, I have confidence in the future of the integration. I got a better idea of just how hard the integration has been when you uh, put a chat modality inside of multiple products in multiple countries and the impact to uh, uh, to the data. Um, I can't. Lydiana's words. Uh, check out the the link I put in the show notes to uh, Lydiana's uh, public uh, things that she talked about, and see for yourself. And, and in the end, uh, actions speak louder than words, and results speak more than actions. And we'll see what the company uh, we'll see what the company can do. And it, it is amazing. Sometimes the grand purifier, Daniel, one of those can be a recession. And when you're a sales force and you're hitting your numbers, you're, you know, you're 20, 25 percent growth every quarter for a year on end. And that comes to a temporary end. You have to take action and you do have to turn up the heat. So if Benioff truly is turning up the heat, uh, I can't see that that's a. I can't see that that's a bad thing. Yeah, no, Pat, you make a great point. And it's exactly like what we've said about some of these layoffs. You know, these companies kind of just, we're growing, we're growing. We got a lot of staff. We got some extra costs, but we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. <laughs> you know, the tunnel vision gets real. And all I'm saying, all of a sudden, when the truck hits the fan, that lens opens up and you're like, holy crud, how did we get so, you know, how did we get so over you know uh, staffed and how do we get our expenses running through the roof well as long as you're growing you know covers revenue what do we always say Pat? revenue covers a lot of problems for companies so this is an inflection point but yeah good 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 analysis pat